how do you deal with the frustration, the depression and anxiety of being injured if you're athletic? In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I have treated literally thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, athletes and had to deal with them and how to get them better. But most importantly, I've been an athlete all my life and dealt with injuries. So I'm gonna give you just from my personal experience as well as how do I help others deal with not just the physical aspect of an injury, but the, uh, the frustration, the depression, the anxiety of dealing with an injury. First of all, if you're athletic and have been injured, you have to understand that this could be a frustrating time, but this time will pass. Healing occurs in time. We all want to want to heal instantly, and we all very often will go to a chiropractor, we'll be on YouTube looking for instant answers, but understand that the physiology of healing does take time. But how do you deal with that emotionally? Sometimes the actual physical pain is not as bad as your brain and what it takes to get through these injuries. One aspect of dealing with the frustration of being injured is to learn ways to still exercise yet at the same time not involve that body part while it's healing. This is the best time. Think of it as a positive thing. This is the best time to start focusing on your core, the best time to focus on your upper body. Actually make other parts of your body uh, your strengths. So if your shoulder is bad, now's the time to actually start working on your lower body and find out ways to train your core that do not involve your shoulder. If you have a wrist problem, how could you do exercises that don't involve the wrist? The second thing is have other hobbies. Like I said, if I have an injury and I can't ride my bike or do any type of physical activity, I can still play guitar. If I am injured and let's say I injure my hand and I can't ride my bike or I cannot uh, play guitar, maybe there's a possibility of painting. Have other hobbies. Um, my experience has been some of the most frustrating athletes are people that only run. That's all they do. They just run marathons or half marathons or 10K, 5Ks, whatever, and they don't do any other type of training or have any other hobbies. This is their life. And that's very difficult to deal with as a patient. And I've learned this by dealing with patients and seeing the depression that occurs when it may take six or eight weeks to, to recover from an injury. So having other hobbies is a great thing. The other issue is sometimes when we're athletic, we tend to hang around other people that are athletic and you don't know any, your whole social life is geared around that particular sport. So that's frustrating because when you can't uh, participate in that, whatever sport that is, all of a sudden it's being like left behind. Uh, the bus takes off and you're stuck at the sidewalk. That's how it feels. And your whole social life is, is, is gone if you can't participate in that sport. So the third thing I would say is to actually find other things that are not involved in the sport. When was the last time you saw a movie that, that uh, with a friend or someone that did not involve sports? Uh, sometimes going out and finding different different types of foods that you've never tried before. Something totally different that's not athletic. Uh, the other thing is to make sure that you have a doctor that is helping you find ways to make sure that you're making progress in some form. And this is one of the great things I think about being a chiropractor is I learned this early on and uh, we learned it in chiropractic school is to always help patients see the positive in things. So we're always coming into the room and saying, what's better? If you, you know, some patients are interesting. They, they're like on or off switches and they either have an injury or they don't. And if they have an injury, they're depressed. If they don't have an injury, they're not depressed. And it's important to understand that week by week to track your progress and say, hey man, look, I'm 10% better than I was last week. 
that isn't where I want to be, but I'm making progress. Very often, another suggestion would be to start with, start with um, figuring out and learning about nutrition. You know, when I was younger, uh, I never, never thought too much about nutrition. I've been talking when I was 14, 15, 16 years old. I just go out and ride my bike and race and do things and never thought once about how nutrition can influence uh, my health and never thought about how nutrition could uh, help healing. But you know, when you're injured, you start thinking about what are the nutrients that are necessary to help recover that tissue. If you had an ACL tear or an Achilles tear, what are the nutrients that are necessary? Start learning. You know, go on my channel. I have things, you can go to my playlist. There's a section on nutrition. Start learning about nutrition. But these are the things that you can do that help you, if you're an athletic person, to help you recover, not just physically from the injury, but emotionally from the injury. Because very often it becomes, you, be, you, can be, you can go into a very dark place if that's all you have is that one sport that's your social life, your identity, and your physical outlet. If you don't have that, there isn't much to you. So um, try to expand your horizons. If you thought this video was interesting, share it with other people, share it on social media. It would help them uh, help with this type of problem that is unique uh, with injuries, the emotional side of injuries. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you're free to ask in the comment section. If you become a Patreon and there's a link down below, you can help support this channel as well as ask me questions and I'll make videos just for you.